Tomas is off to South Central Washington to see how cattle in our state are raised. I met with the Waddington family, and right off the bat, they let me join their family cattle drive. The ranch has been part of the family for decades. It's a cow-calf operation, and Justin says there's always work to be done. The cow-calf operation is the first step in the whole beef cycle. That means that we have the cows, which are the mothers, they're gonna have the babies starting in March. And then, oh, about six, seven months later, we wean, and then either we keep them and grow them on to the next step ourselves, or they get sold to a feedlot. Justin says they raise their calves to be roughly 500 pounds before selling them. Now you'll find anywhere from 400 to 700 cows at the ranch at one time, and they regularly move them from one pasture to another. The reason we do that is we rotate through small, small pastures. Okay. So right now they're on like a 15 acre pasture and we'll move them into like another 15 acres so that they utilize more of the feed. And then it just kind of cycles. It just, just keeps around. going and we'll follow behind them with the irrigation. You had mentioned that your calves get up to about 500 pounds. So yeah. what are they eating to get that heavy? They are eating grass and they are drinking mama's milk. That's it? And that's it. It's just like you would do as a, as a mother. You know, you make sure your kids are getting all the nutrients that they need, a, a well-balanced meal. Well, then we do the same thing for our yeah. cattle. They're eating grasses and legumes, alfalfa and clovers and things like that. And then we make sure they have a free choice salt and mineral package that there is in front of them all the time. 12 months out of the year, they have that in front of them. Fresh drinking water is a big thing. You know, they need to have a very clean source of water. In addition to the well-balanced diet provided to his cows, Justin says animal welfare and the health of their cows is the most important factor for Washington cattle ranchers. We here in the United States have probably one of the most stringent health codes to take care of our animals. You know, it's, it's one of the best places. It's um, a very safe, very good source of protein. And like I said, I eat all of our family, my children and us, we eat lots and lots of beef. It's truly a family affair for the Waddingtons, and the next generation is waiting in the wings. You know, my kids are pretty young right now. My girls are the oldest. I've got a 13 and a 12 year old, but my boys are only eight and nine. Whether they want to do this or not, um, that, that'll be completely up to them, but they are gonna know how to do it, and they are gonna know how to work. Speaking of work, Justin and his brother took some time to give me a few roping pointers. And, and then, then it's all in that wrist. So, yep. Now move closer, move closer, and just throw it right at the head. Okay. Oh. Hey, you hit a you hit a horn. I hit a horn. Yeah. Look at that. See how the smooth rotation of that. There, now you're ready again. Okay, now we're ready again. Hey, look at that! See that? After getting to know these ranchers and their herd, I'm glad they're the experts raising our beef.